What is going on, Pokemon community? It is Poke Collector NYC here, back at it again. Today is in a very exciting day. We finally got uh, our first PSA submission. Uh, I remember I was doing a video of all the cards I was going to submit. I actually didn't submit all of them right away. I submitted some in pieces just because of the cost of some of the PSA stuff. I just wanted to wait, um, but we have them here. There is three of them right there. I don't know if you can see it there, but we'll review that, reveal them in a minute. But uh, we'll go ahead and see. We'll review the cards. We'll guess the grade, and then we'll see what it actually comes out. But uh, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, smashing that uh, like button, and hitting the notification bell. It does go a long way for the YouTube algorithm. Um, but before we get into the, uh, you know, kind of guess the submission, guess the grade, uh, let's go ahead and open up a couple of Unified Minds booster packs just um, so we can get some code cards to you today. I know that you know we don't we can't get we can't do a video without giving away some code cards and hopefully you get to enjoy some of the openings. I know I haven't up, opened up Unified Minds in a while and so I want to be able to, to show some variety. I know we've been doing a lot of uh, Champions Path and Hidden Fates, so I figure you know what. Why not? Just might as well get this open here. Um, let's see what we could do. And we'll guess the grades. I'm excited for the guess the grades portion of this uh, because uh, again, it's my first PSA submission, never done it before. So I am curious to see what we are gonna get as I open up the, uh, at least the packaging for the Unified Minds here in the background. And there is some more uh, packs there that are being thrown around. So let's get into it now. So it does come, each of the Unified Mind things does come with two uh, Rowlet coins, which is pretty awesome. Um, and it does come with these two promos. We have Vikavolt and Stack Attack. A Stack Attack, a look at that sparkle right there. Vikavolt's a little warp, but it's okay. These are nice looking promos. So we got six packs to go through. Let's see what we can go. Let's see what we can get here. Let me just move the camera a little bit and Unified Minds. I haven't opened this up in a while, but this is actually one of my favorite sets from uh, the tag team days. Loved uh, Unified Minds. We're still chasing the uh, Hyper Rare Mewtwo and Mew, so um, maybe we get in today's video. You never know. All right, here is a code card for you. I give away every single code card in every single video. Let's see what we could do here. We got four from the back, and what do we got? We have Misty's Favor, Noctowl, I am excited for these grades because uh, I'll show you which three cards we have here uh, in a couple of minutes just to show you which ones we specifically prioritize. I'm actually, I'm surprised that, you know, we got them back already, but we'll, you know, we'll see what the grades are. Tapu Coco and the first rare is going to be a Gumshoes. Okay, so no rare, I mean, no holographic or better in that one. Gumshoes is our first rare. Not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully we get something out of the, the first pack here. Let's see, another code card for y'all. One, two, three, four from the back. All right, let's see what we got here. What's your town? I've never seen that one. Or maybe I have and I just don't remember. Finneon, Stunfisk, Gibble. We got a Licky Licky, Tongue, Dweeble. Oh, a Young Goose, Reverse, okay. And then our rare is going to be Excedrill, non-holographic. Oh, for two on the packs today, but I hope you're enjoying the codes at least. Why is the... Oh, there it is. I was about to say, like, why couldn't I get that open really quick? All right, there might be something in this one. Hopefully there is. One, two, three, four from the back. And let's see what we got here. We got a Lightning Energy, Dedene, Lorantis, Giant Bomb, Litwick. We have a Cubone Bone Bone, Yanma, Young Goose again, but not the reverse. Uh, Crynogle. I'm going to move all the uncommons and commons. And then a Snover reverse, and our rare is going to be Electros. That is actually a holographic. All right, we got a holographic in the house. We got one hit out of that. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. We got three more packs to go through, and then we'll do the guess the grades, which I am excited about. All right, let's see what we can do here. Three more packs. Not a bad six pack opening, actually. I do enjoy these blister packs. Three from the back, and what do we got here? Dragonair, Sestini, So Waddle, Bidoof. Well, I'm skipping cards. Scorpy, Wimpod, Noibat. We have a Blaine's Quiz Show as a reverse, which is actually, oh no, it's a reverse uncommon. And then, Own Pheasant. Wow, oh, and how did we forget the energy? I don't know how that happened. 
All righty. Two more packs, not a single GX or better. I'm surprised. It's only been, it's only five packs, so I can't really complain. One, two, three, four from the back. And let's see what we could do here. Uh, Swadloon, why not? Archin, Scorpy, Wimpod, Noibat. Come on, can we get at least one hit in today's video? Dewpiter, and then, hey, we get one good hit. Garchop and Giratina, full art. There we go. That is a fantastic hit right there. Uh, what is that on top? I don't know. But okay, we'll go ahead and take just a, take a look at that real quick. Garchomp and Giratina, full art. Wow, that is a beaut. Welcome to the VIP section. That is an awesome hit. Um, can we get last pack magic out of this though? Let's find out. Got one hit out of five. That's actually pretty good. Code card for you. One, two, three, four from the back. And then here we go. Cresselia, Cheris Ball. Can we get some last pack magic? Murkrow, Execute, Alolan Grimer. Camerup is a reverse and it's a reverse rare. And the final rare opening of this video is going to be uh, double camera up, double volcano. All right, nose goes on that though, but that is a fantastic hit. Um, Let's go ahead and show you which ones we have here. Um, all right, we have three PSA cards. Let's do, we'll put the back ones the last, I assume. So let's go ahead and lower the camera a little bit. Here, all right, so we've got three PSA cards. I'm gonna try to uh, hide the grades off a little bit. All right, all right, so this one is the uh, base set two uh, that we open here during the uh, 1,000 subscriber uh, opening or celebration that we had. I love the swirl on this one. I actually assumed this was going to be a 9 or a 10, but in the background here, I did, um, I think I noted in my video where we were grading it, there is a little bit of a dink like right there, so that may have gotten it the 9, uh, but otherwise it's a super clean card. Trying not to reveal the 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 um, the rating on it, but it's definitely a potential ten or, but definitely like my guess was a nine uh, on this one. So let's see what our grade is for this Charizard. It is it is a nine. All right, there we go. Base set two nine. That is our first grade submission ever. We do have a number of PSA cards, which we'll do a uh, a video on of what my PSA collection looks like, but a PSA 9 is a fantastic score for this Charizard base set too. I'm thoroughly happy with that grade just because it was my guess. And again, it's just because I think it's just because of that slight ding right there um, or just slight, slight whitening. Uh, but I love that swirl right there. That is such an amazing card to have. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that to the side. This one is going to be... Okay, so this one is the shiny Charizard V. Um, so I actually thought this was going to be, uh, I submitted this, I don't think this was part of the video uh, that I did, but I did submit this as well. Um, I thought this was going to be a near 10 actually, just because of everything on here from a centering perspective looked pretty clean. I could have been wrong. Maybe it's a little bit off center from left to right. Um, but we'll have to see what the grade is on this one. I mean, I mean, what are your guesses? You know, let me know in the comments description below, but that is a pretty clean card. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Is there a little, okay, I was about to say. So that is shiny Charizard V. Let's see what we get here. It is a nine. Okay. Uh, you know, I was expecting a 10, but that is awesome. We got two nines. So far, that's pretty good. No perfect 10s, but at least no 8s either. So, you know, that is pretty high up there. I love the look of this shiny Charizard right now. Uh, definitely one I'm going to keep forever in my collection as my first grades. I don't think I'm going to even bother uh, trying to auction any of these off or sell these off because these are the first ones in my collection. So that is uh, pretty insane right there. I love the grade on that. All right, so we'll we'll go ahead and put that to the side that we're, we're two for two on the 9s. Um, but let's see what the, so the final one is actually, and I'm just trying not to hide this. I'm just trying to hide the score. All right. So the final one was actually uh, the Hidden Fates Charizard. So 
I actually opened this off off camera before I even started uh, doing uh, Pokemon openings or, or had a YouTube channel. So I pulled this, uh, I think in February uh, of last year and I didn't even like, you know, obviously didn't even consider a channel until uh, June of last year or at least open, doing Pokemon openings. So, you know, for me, this was the pristine card I opened before doing Pokemon openings. You know, from Hidden Fates actually being the um, best modern set, best modern chase set that everyone is still going after, still chasing the Charizard. SV49 uh, is definitely one that everyone will always remember. So this one had no dings. This one was in perfect condition. I think centering left to right was perfect on this one as well. Um, you know, this is, again, probably hands down one of the better Charizards I had in my collection at the time. So... I think this deserved a 10. Would it, could it get possibly dinged as a 9? Probably. But let's go ahead and see if we get a perfect score. What do you think we got here in this one? Let's find out. Hey, we got a perfect gem mid 10. That is a fantastic Pokemon community. This is my first ever PSA submission. And we get at least one 10 in the collection. That is one I'll treasure forever. I don't... As much as I love Pokemon... Uh, if I ever, like, decided to sub to openings, this is one that will stay in the collection forever. A Gem Min 10 Charizard. Look at that right there. I love that. It's clean. Probably my cleanest card out of anything I had anyway. I knew it was going to be the best one. Surprise at this one getting the 9. Uh, assume this one was going to get the 9. Uh, but, yeah, no. These are definitely my my favorite submission. The Hands down, my favorite submission so far. Obviously, it's my only submission. That has finally come back, but these are definitely ones that I I, I love. Um, so every, obviously everyone chases the Zard, but S SV49 right here um, being the Gem Mint 10 is fantastic. I love that. So um, just to go over some highlights real quick, obviously we got our Garchomp and Giratina full art in today's opening, but getting a PSA 9 right there for my base at Charizard opening from... Oh, I got a little bit of my dog's hair here. Uh, just from, <laughs> just the, I think it was like three or four months ago when I did this opening. It was a fresh pack pulled Charizard, which is nuts. And then you have, of course, Shiny Charizard V, which I pulled just a few months back. Uh, I have another one considering getting graded. If it is not sold by this time, the video uh, is posted. And then, of course, our Gem Min Tent Shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates. Gotta love that. Thanks so much, everybody, for support the support in the community. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. We may do more of that guess that grade uh, once things come in. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and smashing that like button. And thanks so much, everyone, for watching today's video. And tune in next time.